Hello, this is Andrew and welcome to our channel House Resort. I have a wonderful collection of Steiff uh, items here. Uh, some, some people pronounce it Steiff. Uh, they're made in Germany uh, and they're from Germany. Now, some of them may actually not be made in Germany any longer, but they're usually made in Europe somewhere. Um, this is a company that goes back a long while. Uh, most people are familiar with Steiff. It's just has a wonderful long history and they are known for their very high quality uh, of fibers, uh, like what they make these uh, wonderful um, stuffed plush uh, toys with. I call them toys, but they're really now looked at as collectibles because actually many adults uh, collect them. Uh, they're known, they're not just known as toys. They tend to be um, a little expensive. I guess that's really the best way to put it, but they're expensive for a good reason. They are made, um, they're, most of them have a lot of hand work involved. I mean, you could look at this Great Dane. This is actually a replica uh, from a 1932 model. So they took what was produced in 1932 and they remade it and it has all Steiff, uh, Steiff uh, animals have a button in the ear. Now this one has a black one and it usually indicates like it's a classic or a collectible or whatever. Like this one, see, it has a gold one and um, with a yellow tag, but they gotta have a button in the ear. And of course you should never remove that button in the ear because that's, that's their um, trademark. You can see how beautiful the work is. It has a little bell here. And this is made of wool. It's almost like boiled wool, that felt kind of wool. And um, all Steiff items come with a um, letter, a note that tells, a little, they have a number, like this is number 706. And it says Grain Dane Lord Replica 1932. So it talks about it a little bit, it says what the material is, like 100% wool, and, um, and just gives a little more information about the inside. Like all the um, uh, filling are usually natural materials and they are often surface washable. So they're very easy to take care of um, but it does even say in here that this product is not a toy and is not intended for um, uh, and is intended for adult collectors only. That's because <clears throat> you know they do often have buttons on on the ear and they have other things that may not be suitable uh, for a child to play with them. But they're made very well, and in old times kids did play with them. But we don't recommend kids. I mean, these items being bought for a child uh, because they're not childproof. Uh, and are meant to be collectible items for adults and not for children. So one of our favorite items is this dark purple bear. Uh, it's too bad that you can't really feel the um, material. <clears throat> this is probably made of um, angor, no, mohair actually. It's mohair wool and it's plush and it has a little um, name tag that says Steif and I think it actually makes a noise, see? You can hear the uh, the sound, it's like a baby, uh, baby bear. <laughs> so, and the eyes are always beautifully made, very shiny, it's like two layers of material that creates that. And this one has a um, gold button, gold finish button, um, and the ear, and, and of course, the hands move, the arms move. You can see it's all, they move and the legs move too. Just a very beautifully made and it just feels great to the hand. It doesn't feel like, you know, how most of the plush toys are made of polyester. So it feels like you're touching a carpet, but these have a great finish. They even have a little bump on the back, almost like a little bear would have like on the back bone so they're made in a very realistic way. Their faces are a little different because they're actually not 
like what you find in most toys, um, a flat face, they actually have, I think, a more realistic look to what a little bear would look like. So that's the dark purple, I think it's called Prince. Um, that's the name of this style. And here we have a blue bear. And if I could get it out of the stand. And hands in here move too. Um, sorry for the shake on the camera. But um, the legs and the arms move. See the bump on the back? It's like how a little bear would actually have. <laughs> And this is made of very nice material too. It's almost like a, how would I call that? Almost like velvet, but it's a natural material, um, probably wool and lots of detail around the nose and the mouth. And you can see the bottom of the feet are made of a different pattern material. And there's a dice hanging. They all have a story. I'm not familiar with the story on this one. Um, it's called Teddy Davis. So that's what the name of this one is. Here is a silver, gray, and a pink or rose looking one. Longer hair, kind of a wavy hair. And this one is called Sophia. Yeah, this is like 50%, 57% more hair and 43% cotton. So it's just so nicely made with natural materials. And here we have this little guy. This is like almost like a old antique, a weathered little bear that you may have inherited from a, a grandparent. <laughs> So it just has that sort of a finish. And again, the material is wool and the arms and the legs do move too. And there's so many different designs they have. Of course, some of them are classics. This is a little red riding hood. There's a basket that is, we haven't moved the cover yet, but even in the basket, you have a little bottle. Oh, you have a, there's like blueberry pie in there. Let me see if I can take it out and show it to you. Well, there's like a bottle. I mean, I think they're sewn in the, into the box, to the basket. But anyway, there's a little blueberry pie and <laughs> there's a red cape and there's a dress and that's their uh, little, little red riding hood um, version right there. Got some big ones here. Let me see if I can get to it. Um, and they're all, you know, they're made in big sizes too. Actually, Stife has a collection called Studio and they're really large um, Stife items. I mean, they have like giraffes and elephants. They're, they're really big. They're made for like, um, as um, really design items like for a for a room so this has a great covering you can just see how um, like fluffy it is oh and this one makes a noise too you see it <laughs> and this has a bump on the back and the legs and the arms move you see it And finally, this big one is like a, a news newsboy or newsy they call him. And let me see if I can get it out of the stand. I have a clash of all everything, but you can. This is a big one. And you can see the bottom of the feet. They're like a little, um, they're beautiful patterns. It's almost like a needlepoint pattern at the bottom of the legs and the palm of the hands. Of course, as you notice, they do move. 
and has a nice wool mohair finish with a little bump on the back and a hat that look, makes it look like a newsy. So I will have links to all this um, and there will be a link to um, the Stife USA's website. Um, the links would be probably to Amazon. They're available on Amazon by either Amazon or other merchants. Not all of these might be available, but I would do my best to actually find the links to each of these items if they're available. If not, there will be other similar um, items on, on Amazon. So thank you for watching. We would appreciate it if you could like the video and if you could subscribe, be great. And like always, your comments and suggestions are welcome. So thank you for watching.